A little uh, morning observation this morning. How can hatred be productive? Hatred is such a strong emotion. I think balanced only by the deepest of love. But because it's so strong, it will cover up or temper deep pain. And I'm thinking about this this morning because yesterday we toured the facility that we are going to be working at in spring 2020 for Grindstone, our 501c3. And this facility that I will say more about in the coming days and weeks is an intake facility for victims of human trafficking, the vast majority of which have also been victims of sex crimes. We were told many stories while we were there by the people who are building this facility that is step one, that is a 23 hour facility that then leads to a 17 month rehabilitation facility, the largest in the continental United States, perhaps the world for victims of human trafficking and sex crimes. And one of the stories we were told almost anecdotally because of how typical it is was of a 13, I got interrupted. One of the stories we were told was of a 13 year old patient that had 30, 30 distinct, separate DNA samples inside of her. DNA typically only lasts about 120 hours. Five days, 30 distinct samples. I hate that. I hate it. I want to love that little girl with everything that I've got. And I want to kill those bastards. Me. My own morals and ethics. Luckily for them, we have a justice system. The problem with said justice system and what this facility is trying to accomplish is that the justice system, the intricacies of it, and because of slick talking lawyers, a lot of these people are never charged or they're undercharged. So this facility that we're building will house both medical personnel who can intake patients and write the actual reports in such a way that they need to get written and perform the actual examinations in such a way, the way that they need to be performed to build a case. This facility will also house law enforcement personnel so that there is a direct handoff from one to the other. There is a clear chain of custody on evidence that is taken, 
so that there is a by the book process that builds a case that can then go to the district attorney so that perverts can be sentenced appropriately. This is a spiritual war. This is wickedness. And I can say that unequivocally because I felt it the moment I got there and I felt it since the moment I've got there. This is warfare. And warfare and hatred can go hand in hand. We have to be careful not to hate things that don't deserve it. But this is an abomination to our creator and I despise it. I loathe it, I hate it. And I rebuke it in the name of Yeshua. I hate it. And I want nothing more than to destroy it. And I need your help. The first thing that I need is for y'all to pray for our team and to pray for the team at this facility because it is wickedness embodied, personified that we are battling. And I need you to pray for these victims, these kids, two thirds of which are children, I'm sorry, two thirds of which are girls, one third of which are boys, the vast majority of which are between eight and 12 years old many of which already have drug addictions because of the circumstances of their trafficking. This facility is going to be the help that these people need. And Grindstone is going to be the help that this facility needs to get up and running. And so please cover all that with prayer. We need funding. This is a fact. It's expensive to run these projects. And I got my ass chewed out by my CPA last year for putting too much of my own money into Grindstone, to which I answer, I wish that it was 10 times that much. I wish I had that much to give, personally. I don't, I'm not there yet. We self-support, meaning that there is nobody at our organization that gets paid to do what we do. The operating expenses of our organization come out of my wallet and out of my P.O. box. For those of y'all who feel convicted to put a check in the mail and say, here, Bear, do good with this and bless you and thank you for it. We are gonna be mobilizing crews through several phases of deployments to this facility and it's gonna take a lot of money. So I would ask you to prayerfully consider a charitable donation to Grindstone Ministries. Not a dime of this money ever ends up in my pocket. And the day that it does, y'all strike me dead. We only use it to self-support in the field to go be the hands and feet of our Messiah. We use it at our own personal paychecks and money out of savings. And we stretch pennies and dollars. And when I say we, I mean all of us at Grindstone so that we can go do this so that we can go serve the kingdom. So it's actually the other way around where a lot of 501c3s act as tax shelters for the principals that are involved with it so that they have a place to park some money or move some assets around. We go the other direction. We give everything we have. But everything we have is not enough. And so I'm asking you to prayerfully consider donating to Grindstone. You can do that at grindstoneministries.com. We also need material support. 
Literally, there are building materials, construction materials that we need to get this job done. Drywall stuff, framing stuff, roofing stuff, paint, trim, electrical, plumbing. It's a construction site. Anything that you would find on a construction site, appliances, we need it. Not only that, we need the stuff to facilitate us being there. The food, the water, the fuel, the airfare for some of our people, um, the HQ tents, the chainsaws, the gas cans, the PPE, all of that stuff, the trailer the, to put it in. We're actively hunting a new or gently used 14 to 16 foot tandem axle box trailer, enclosed trailer. If you know who anybody who's got one, get at me and let me know. Um, again, <laughs> we don't have a very large budget, but praise the Father, everything we've ever needed, we've gotten when we've needed it. And lastly, I have brethren that fight this fight every day because of their jobs in the law enforcement field. Keep them covered up in prayer. This is sickening. This is disgusting. And I hate it. I loathe it. And I want to destroy it. I can't do it alone, nor can they, which is why we're forming these strategic partnerships. And it's why I'm covering the hurt that I feel from my own life and for these kids with the hate that I feel towards the people who perpetuate this disgusting wickedness so that I can love the people who have been affected by it. And I am not saying that that is the winning strategy, that that is how it should be done. I'm saying it's the best coping mechanism that I've got. This one's real, ladies and gentlemen. Our last six deployments in 2019, they were good. They were meaningful. They were just practice for this. And praise the Father that he allowed us to have that practice so that we can do this. This one's real. We need as many partners for prayer for funding and for material goods as we can get to make this happen. And I just humbly ask that you would help us. Shalom, y'all. I suppose I should add this because if I don't, my, my admins are going to just kick my tail. If you would like to help, please email November Tango X ray Mike Alpha Golf NTX Mag at gmail.com. Subject line Grindstone. If you want to deploy on this mission, the best way is go to bearindependent.com. Sign up. There's a sign up form for missions on the Doing Good tab. That will send out an email blast. When we email about missions, that's where it goes. If you email me and say, Bear, I'm a carpenter and I wanna come help and that goes to NTX Mag, it'll get lost. So please don't do that. If there's material goods or services that you can offer, um, email me. But if you just generally wanna stay informed about missions and deployments, and uh, bearindependent.com, sign up. I am putting together the mission profile in the next week that will include where we're going, when we're going there, 
how long we will be there, what we will be doing when we are there, what materials we need, what PPE and EDC, excuse me, you need, where we're going to be staying, how many people, what relative skills, blah, 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 blah. I'm putting all of that together in a project scope and mission profile within the next week. And all of that will live at bearindependent.com and it will get blasted out on that email blast that you sign up for at bearindependent.com. So if you email me and say, I'm a carpenter and I want to come help, that actually complicates things because it creates dozens of individual touch points that I have to respond to individually and coordinating that is a nightmare. So the next step is sign up bearindependent.com and I will do my end and get the email blast out with all the relative data. If you are interested in making a charitable donation, grindstoneministries.com or email me and if you have roofing materials or construction materials or whatever, email me and uh, we can get you a receipt for your charitable donation and take it from there. Thank you.